everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Ryan and I am the Laser Noob. So a couple of videos back, I talked to you guys about cleaning off your laser lens using isopropyl alcohol and cotton swabs or cotton ball, whichever one you have. So, and I also told you guys that I'm getting, for the X-Tool, I'm getting my replacement lenses from a gentleman named Mike Stott. Uh, I found him on Facebook on some of the X-Tool uh, groups. So, I don't know Mike, not affiliated with Mike, I'll say that again. Uh, I, I'm not getting paid for any of this, so. Anyway, um, so I go on Facebook and I'm still seeing a lot of people who are ordering the lenses from Mike uh, or maybe somebody else and they're having a real big issue with actually changing the lens out. So today we're gonna do a real quick video. I'm gonna show you guys how to change that lens out, wh whether you're getting it from Mike or from somebody else, all right? So the very first thing that we are gonna need is we're going to need some acetone. Acetone. Okay, so acetone, what I usually do is I take one of these little plastic cups and you only really have to do this the first time that you're replacing your lens because X-Tool decided they were gonna put some kind of glue on that retainer ring. And what that's doing is it's making it real hard to get that retainer ring out in order to replace the lens. And I'm sure they're doing that so you spend $45 to buy the whole new thing instead of just a few dollars for a replacement lens from somebody else. So, well, there you go, yeah. So anyway, so here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little cup and I am going to put some acetone in it. I'm gonna fill it about halfway up, way more than what I'm actually gonna need, okay? I'm gonna set my acetone down. Now what I've done is I have taken the lens cover off of my laser module, all right? So what I did, once I took that off, it, here, let me zoom in real quick. Okay, so once I took that lens cover off of the X-Tool, um, I just took some painter's tape and I put some painter's tape lightly over that. I'm not touching the painter's tape on the lens underneath there. It's flat going across. I just put it on there just to keep some dust and dirt or anything else that might be floating around off of that lens. And this is what I'm worried about right here. So I've got that covered up and I'm not worried about that getting any dirt on it. All right, now I've got that lens cover off, okay? This is just one piece. It's, two pieces of brass and your little glass lens that's in there. I'm gonna take that and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop that in that acetone and I'm gonna let that sit minimum 30 minutes to break up that glue, uh, up to a couple hours, heck, I mean, if I get busy with some other stuff, I can leave it in there overnight. It's not gonna hurt it. All I'm trying to do with that acetone is break up that glue so I can screw that retainer ring out of there or unscrew it out of there. So let's let that set. We'll come back and we'll check it out. Okay guys, so we have been soaking for a couple hours now. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. A couple hours should be more than sufficient. Like I said, I mean 30 minutes ought to do it. Uh, but sometimes they put a little bit more glue on some than others. So if you just let it sit for a couple hours or overnight, you're, you're, you're gonna be pretty sure that it's gonna be good to go. All right, so what you see I've got here is I have my lens replacement kit that I've gotten from Mike Stott. Uh, just a paper towel to set everything on, some Q-tips, isopropyl alcohol, which you always need on hand. I mean, in between burns and stuff, you know, this is what you're gonna clean your lens with. And then, of course, my lens cover that's been soaking in the acetone. So what we're gonna do is, is we're, gonna, we're gonna pull this thing out of here and we're gonna go ahead and get it changed out. Okay, so, there it is. So if you can see in there, you, you, you can see the ring. It's got a, a, a couple little recess spots in it. And that's for the tool, you know, let's see. Let's 
so we can turn that around. Yeah, yeah right down by my thumb here, you, you can see the, the little slot. There's another slot up here. And that's what we're gonna use that tool for to, to get this thing out. So it's been soaking. Here's our kit. It comes with a, a skinny ring, a thicker O-ring. This is the little plastic tool you're gonna need to remove that retainer ring. And then eight lenses, okay? So not bad. I mean, it, Mike, these are priced really well from Mike. So what I, first thing I'm gonna do is, is that tool is what I'm after right now. So I'm gonna take that tool out, keep everything else to the side. And you guys can see how this has a few different layers on it. So this, this top portion right here, that's what's gonna go into that ring. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna set, get that down in there and get it to set. And then we're gonna use that and we're gonna unscrew this thing. And that first little bit might be a, a little hard But once you start getting it unscrewed, it comes right out. And it just fell out. That easy. So we're gonna take that old lens, we're gonna set it off to the side. I've already pulled another lens out. Now I will tell you, um, you're gonna need to clean this lens once you guys get everything changed out. So we're gonna take that lens, set it right here. We're gonna make sure we got all this acetone and everything off of this. It would dry it up real good. Okay, now we're gonna take that new lens and we're gonna place it down in there, all right? So when you get the kit, Mike sends you instructions. So, uh, and he tells you right here, cause you got two different size O-rings here. Okay, you got a thinner one and a thicker one. So if you look in the red, the thinner red O-ring is for the 20 watt lasers. The thin one, it, like, oh, sorry. T thin one is for the 20 watt and the thicker one is for the 10. So you got two choices. You can either put that, you can either put this lock ring back in or this re retainer nut here on top of the new lens, or if you don't wanna worry about screwing it in, unscrewing it every time you change, you can take that thicker ring and you can put that thicker ring in. Um, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go ahead and I like it like it was. I'm not too worried about screwing this thing in and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that new lens in there. And I'm just gonna put that, that retainer ring back in there. Now I can screw that in and, and just screw it all the way down and I'm done. But I also wanna show you guys, it's real easy if you wanna do the O-ring as well. We'll unscrew that back out. Lens is... Okay, so we had a little user error there. Uh, dropped the whole dang thing on the floor and it went in pieces. So it took me a few minutes to find everything. Uh, that lens is, is it, that it dropped on the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead that, I mean, this is another lens. <laughs> I'm throwing the other one away because it was all over the floor. So anyway, so I showed, I showed you guys um, how to take that ring and put it back in super easy, but like I said, he also sends the O-rings. So if you take the thicker O-ring and you take that new lens and you drop that new lens in there, make sure it sets in. You can, if you don't want to screw that, if you don't want to screw this in and out every time you want to change the lens, you can just take this O-ring and it just sits right down in there and then you can screw it back on, all right? 
So that, I mean, that's pretty easy. And it doesn't, it doesn't fit in there super tight. So you can, you can push on the lens and you can get that thing to come back up. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna put the lock ring back in just because that's my personal preference. And then we can, we're gonna clean this thing and we're gonna get, get it put back on our laser module. Okay, so our retainer ring's all screwed back in. Now, before we put this back on the laser and get ready to run this, you have got to clean this glass. This doesn't matter who it comes from. Anytime you get a piece of replacement glass or a replacement lens, when you put that in, you've got to clean it uh, both sides, top and bottom. So all we're gonna do, this is how I always clean a laser lens. I'm gonna get a little isopropyl alcohol on a cotton swab, okay? And I'm not scrubbing this. I'm just, just lightly rubbing. I'm gonna get all the fingerprints, uh, oils from people's hands, whoever touched this thing. Are you kidding me? I dropped it again. Okay. Uh, lens number three. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so we've got the new lens back in again. Set it down. This is what happens when you're looking at the camera to make sure you're in focus and not on what you're doing. So anyway, again, not scrubbing real hard. I'm just gonna take it. I'm lightly rubbing that. I'm gonna turn it over. Same thing on the other side. Then I'm gonna take the dry side of this Q-tip and I'm gonna lightly rub it and I'm gonna dry that off. I'm gonna lightly rub it on the back side and dry that off. Okay, now I'm gonna take this last Q-tip and do a final dry, just lightly rubbing it, making sure I'm getting any streaks or any of that off. All right, and there we go. Now we have our new lens. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back on our module, remount our module on the laser, and we have a brand new lens in. It's extremely easy. As long as you don't drop the damn thing on the floor two or three times. All right, this video has been brought to you by Butterfinger Candy Bar. Oh, no, sorry, just me. So yeah, guys, sometimes it's hard. We, I'm trying to look at the camera to make sure that it's in focus as I'm trying to do something over here. And it, it just, sometimes accidents happen. I don't have anybody to record the video for me. So when you guys are doing this, it, it's you're, you're probably not gonna drop it as much as I did. It's a very simple process. Um, just pay attention to what you're doing. Um, we took the painter's tape off our laser module. We've got our protective lens cover with our new lens put in there. All we're gonna do is screw that thing back on. We're gonna put that back on our laser and we're ready to go. Now remember guys, changing the lens is pretty easy, but if you want your lens to last, make sure you've got plenty of Q-tips, plenty of isopropyl alcohol, and clean that lens every four or five hours, just like I just did right now. And I showed you guys, it's very simple. It's gonna keep you from having to change that lens in and out. But if you guys are looking for lenses, I'm gonna put Mike's information back down in here. You know, throw him some business. Um, like I said, I'm not affiliated with them. I just buy my stuff from him and I've never had an issue with it. So with that, if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. As always, please like the video, hit the subscribe button. Guys, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.